welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Maokai Mill. This one's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to be playing some Jank over in rank with uh, Maokai, Callista. We got the brand new landmark Hexcore Foundry. And that's what this day is about. It's about playing uh, some of the brand new landmarks from our newest expansion, Cosmic Creation. So the point of our deck here is all about Maokai, and it's about leveling up Maokai. So whenever you level up Maokai, um, whenever you have uh, had 25 units either uh, be killed or have been tossed, then you uh, basically obliterate the whole enemy deck besides leaving them with four, uh, just four cards, four non-champion cards. And then after you leave them with those four cards, then you have like your hex core foundry in play that round start they have to draw an additional card. Right, so that, that helps uh, get rid of those last four cards. And then you also have veteran investigators that you, you then you play your veteran investigators, all players draw one. And so like after you obliterate their deck, they only have four cards left, you make them draw those cards because that's another way to win the game. Whenever you have uh, your deck has zero cards in it and you draw a card when there's no cards to draw, you lose the game on the spot. And so that's the win condition that we're going to be going with. Now we're going to be able to have more than just our three veteran investigators. We're going to be using counterfeit copies to try to put more veteran investigators into our deck. And we'll also be using fading memories to counter to uh, uh, copy veteran investigator and be able to play more. So that's the goal. So we're going to be playing all these things that toss. We're going to have like our dead bloom wander, our thorny toad, a lot of things that toss and just sit out as blockers. Um, as you can tell, we're not playing like any interaction for them. We're not playing like any kind of removal. We're just going to be trying to um, block, keep the game going longer, and then, um, uh, you know, obliterate their deck. Callista's just kind of in here to like bait out some removal uh, to not kill our Maokai, basically. Um, that's kind of all it's doing. Um, it can it can attack and put in like a Veteran Investigator or a Dead Bloom Wanderer. Those are things with the most power. So like those are both things that are good to put into play again with like a Callista attack, but um, yeah, that's that's what we're gonna be doing. So we'll see, hopefully we can win a couple of games. <laughs> you know, like this this deck's gonna be kind of crazy, but let's have some fun. <laughs> we're playing against the same regions. All right, so the bad news here is my opponent's very aggressive and they do a good amount of Nexus damage. And so those are two things that I do not like to see um, I guess I keep the second hapless aristocrat. Love having the attack token on turn three with Blighted Caretaker, with Blighted Caretaker being able to take down Teemo. Love that. Maybe I mulligan Callista. Witness perfection. I don't love I don't I don't love where we're at actually. I don't know. This thing's like scary. This is making like these things that deal Nexus damage every turn. I don't know. This is this is kind of scary. Um it doesn't really seem like the best Blighted Caretaker turn. We'll get Callista in play first. Hey, what's up, Nola Gold? If y'all don't know Nola Gold, another great Legends of Terra streamer. Y'all should go give him a follow. Chill guy. Let's see. Alright, let's block the spider. And I'm gonna be blocking Elise. I'm I'm just worried about my my Nexus total. I'm not really worried about Callista dying. If Callista dies, then Callista dies and life goes on. And of course we we do want things to die for Maokai. No, they're a go hard deck. Oh no, the go hard decks are the the worst thing to see when you're trying to mill out your opponent because they can just continually put more go hards into their deck. Um, yeah, that's. 
protection. Kind of a problem, but well, we'll, we can deal with it. Let's see. So if I play Blighted Caretaker, we kill like the Spiderling. I don't know. We kill the hap it doesn't, it doesn't really matter, but that's still. So that'd be three, and then we get three saplings. Those are two really bad cards to toss. So I'd just go this route. I got ways to find me mushroom. This foundry may Foundry may kind of be a problem as far as like getting saplings with Maokai. I, re I really like this new set. I mean, I think all the, like the all the champions I really like that they don't just necessarily go in one deck. You can you can kind of play them anywhere. I like just the versatility of all the the cards from the the newest expansion. Where, like, the one before that with, like, Soraka and Tom Kench, you really kind of played in, in the same kind of deck for all of them. Um, but I, I love the versatility with all these cards. I do think, like, the new landmarks all look pretty powerful. Um, let's see, we got five. Yeah, we need we need to get some board space up in here. I know what lurks in the shadows. I don't like that, that thing being fearsome. So we're at eight out of twenty-five. I wanna find the three-two life steal. No three-two life steal. Dead Bloom Wanderer, that's what I want to find. Of course, I'm just trying to have things die. Twelve out of twenty-five. No, our second counterfeit copy's gone. Counterfeit copy is going to be important. Third counterfeit copy's gone. Hmm. They will pay for what they did to you. All that matters now is the little one. So we should get the sapling, and then the spider is just going to get burned. Yep, the spider gets burned. So that's 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Disengage. Ain't they get the gun show? Way. So I need the Blighted Caretaker to die to, to trigger, to, to level up Maokai. Darn, they didn't block. Have a mushroom. Have three. Protect our grove. So that's 24. I guess I can go. I could go glimpse beyond. They grow up so fast. Officer J.S. Hawkshaw, 
units. Okay, so Maokai obliterates their deck except for four cards. And now they're going to draw three of them to start with. Well, we, we really have to just hope that they had all their Gohards get obliterated right there. Like, that's that's the hope. The fact that they're playing Gohard is what could definitely be the killer for me. That's the killer for me. My saplings. Because I can't, I can't like play veteran investigator because they just drop go hard and play more go hards and you know, like so. I... That's the man. That card's so annoying. That card just uh, just invalidates my strategy. I guess like they do need to have another go hard in hand. I guess that is true that they need another go hard in hand right now. If they don't have another, we could be fine. We must all make sacrifices. Yeah, I guess if they don't have another, we win. Right, because then like beginning beginning a turn, they draw three, so they go down to zero, and then we veteran investigator. Yeah, I only have two hex cores in my deck. It's a good thing they didn't. They could have just like played something and replaced their hex core. So it's a good thing they didn't do that. All right, so now we have eight puff caps for four cards. If they would have just replaced their their hex core foundry. They would be fine, but they didn't. So now it looks like they lose. They didn't replace their Hexcore Foundry. I just want to increase my life total. I, you know, I don't want to make it so like we draw, you know, like hopefully we don't draw 13 puff caps on the one card, <laughs> you know, basically. Or I guess on, on all the cards, because we're drawing I guess we're drawing all four cards. Wait, we're at 13, we're drawing four cards. Wait a minute. This isn't good. I need to I need to fading memories that one four and gain another two life. Wait a minute. I learned patience. Wait a minute. I need to fading memories that one four. That's what I need to do here. Come on, all 13 were on the top three? Really? None were on the bottom card? Well, that game was crazy. So yeah, basically I needed to, to get a, like another blocker or two out. I just need one more life. <laughs> like that's all I needed was one life. That's crazy. That's too bad. All right, so Trundle, Trindamir. Yeah, I mean, I like all these cards. I don't really want to discard any of these to Zonite Urchin. So I guess I don't. Alright, Thorny Toad. I don't know, Thorny Toad's good. Does the tossing. Because their life total doesn't matter. It's not like I have to like play my my one drop immediately. To the and plus, it may be good to have like five mana to be able to play Maokai and then um, Zonai Urchin in the same turn. Ooh, counterfeit copies is good. 
Save that for later. I think I saved the foundry for later too. Like I'm good on cards and everything. So what do I want to do? Do I want to play Maokai this turn? This is not an easy deck to play. The sequencing and everything. I'm not playing Foundry. I think my two options are either Thorny Toad plus Glimpse Beyond or Maokai. Let's go with the Maokai. Cool. That's good. Because basically, I don't want to speed them up with... Ooh, Callista's kind of good. I don't want to speed them up with the Foundry and make them, like, go find Feel the Rush and stuff like that. I want to have, like, the Foundry after we have Maokai level up. Find more things that toss stuff. Okay, Islander. So the whole point of Islander is going to be able to use... Islander can reduce the cost of Veteran Investigator to make it a one mana card, and then we counterfeit copies the one mana Veteran Investigator. Fresh catch? Well, it was fresh. See the Nebastian border from here. Yeah, I, that's just too many. Yeah, we could play Puffcat Peddlers and Shrooms and all that kind of stuff, but that that's just too much. It's just too many different cards. I'm just not really interested in doing that. But yes, that would help against Go Hard players. That's just not something I'm, I'm really interested in. That just takes up way too many slots. For like all the other matchups. I guess sapling's the biggest thing that we've had die. We're not gonna put we're not gonna put in the one four. Yeah, we're gonna put in sapling. That's annoying. There we go. Dead Blue Wanderer is good. I wish I would have played the Stalking Shadows to grab Dead Blue Wanderer though. Ooh, Black Spear's good. I could have, you know, could have used the sapling and challenged something, but whatever. This one's on the house. Oh, heck. Alert the village. That's the card I wanted, was another Wanderer. Maybe I should have waited with that with until I make the deck all veteran investigators. I was going greedy here, I wanted another Wanderer. Trying to level up this Maokai. So my deck's going to have 10 cards in it. Yes, uh, Give It All is definitely worth it in a Zoe Victor deck as a finisher, absolutely. Alright, cool, got a backup Maokai. In case they kill this one. Which they do. Alright, so Maokai's level so you know, like as soon as we play Maokai, it's leveled up. We don't have to worry about um 
you know, we don't have to worry about them using like a vengeance or whatever. And I play Maokai, they vengeance. Perfect. So I feel pretty good about winning this game. I definitely win next turn as long as they don't do 20 damage to me this next turn. So we put them down to two. They draw the card for turns. So they're still at one. So I need two priorities to kill them. Okay, so casting that because they had nine cards in hand. So presumably they play like Feel the Rush, we play Investigator, they attack, hopefully don't quite kill us, then we have priority again, we play Investigator, they die. So that should be good because they can't play atrocity. They have, they have two things that block. And there we go. We'll just play another veteran investigator. That's our tech, Maokai Mill. Alright, so we ended up not needing the landmark with how that game played out. But pretty awesome, pretty awesome deck, right? Pretty awesome game. Oh, new prediction. All right, we got a Victor deck with Vi, Victor Vi. So prediction has started. Victor Vi, I'm gonna keep only one hapless aristocrat this time. I don't think we need it two against Victor Vi. But love, you know, Dead Bloom Wanderer, of course, one of my very best cards. It helps keep me alive and it tosses three. Great for Maokai. Yes, absolutely, Breeze. Yeah, we got some bonus stream to do today. I must get out of here. Today and tomorrow. Because we hit the, the bonus stream sub goals the previous couple days. Have I missed any I subs from today? No, okay, so we, we are at zero subs on the day. Okay, I didn't miss any. Um, we'll pass turn. Wow, all the Dead Bloom Wanderers. Well, that's great. That's also kind of a little bad that I don't get to Stalking Shadows, a Dead Bloom Wanderer. A little sad at that. Two bloody caretakers gone. Alright, just getting rid of this bot so they don't get to keep on creating ignitions. This ballistic bot is really strong. Ah, and then they had a victor. That's probably bad for me. Yeah, right? Ignition's pretty OP. So I'm just going to be sitting back and not really doing much of anything. Please let these trade. Please let these trade. Yes. Great trade. See, that's the thing. It's like we... No. And a new one. We don't actually do anything with our Callistas, really, but, you know, like, they... People expect Callista to be a good card, and they're like, oh man, I need to trade with Callista. I guess I cast this. Oh, well, maybe I should have got the... Um, maybe I should have got the other card that could have made the Veteran Investigator cost zero. What's that noise? 
I was just thinking like these hapless aristocrats could be a lot of bodies for blockers against ballistic bot Victor. Perfect. Found a Maokai. These bots are so scary too. Like, these voice lines are so scary. So I could, you know, m may go with Fading Memories on the Dead Bloom Wanderer to have this speed up even more. Come on, aren't you going to attack? Do some attacking. Go ahead. No attacking. Well, I'm going to have to clear some room. And so we saw that earlier with them, like, trade a Victor and a Callista. I was very happy about that. That's bad. We're at 21 with Maokai. Let's see. All right, let's go, let's try this foundry out. Let's try it out. Oh yeah, that would have been yeah. Never mind. This would have been perfect. Of um, if I would have copied Dead Bloom Wanderer, I would have leveled up Maokai. Yeah, I should have done that. Yeah, I should have done that. I could still do that. Let's see. We level up Maokai. They go down to four. I have one veteran investigator right now, but then we also have the foundry. Yeah, we still we still do this. So they have they have like this turn to kill me, and I have these life steal blockers. Right, like it's it's not very likely they're killing me this turn, and they kind of only have this turn. Sad magic doesn't heal the Nexus three, remember? I'm at six cards. Finding details is my duty. Yeah, if if Sap Magic healed your Nexus, that'd definitely be better. But it does not. I don't know if I have, like, I don't know exactly what's the rest of the cards in my deck. Let's see. We have one other Maokai, one other Callista. That's two. I don't know what the other three are. They're going to be more, like, veteran investigator type cards. So I do need to actually mill them out this next turn. I kind of need... Yeah, I kind of need to mill them out and make sure I don't mill out and everything. Let's see. Puts me to 12. 
12. I, mean, I guess it would make more sense to do this, I suppose. I can put Maokai back into the deck with the Sap Magic. Which I don't need to do immediately, but that's an option. We shall their treasonous us. What I'm what I'm worried about is them having like more victors. Or like the hex core upgrade you know, like the Victor's Champion spell of course is the, the hex core upgrade. Or like this thing, like this thing that puts cards back. I'm worried about this. This is what I'm worried about. Give them room to spread their leaves. Yes, of course. Okay, they're down to one card left, so they they didn't they didn't have another victor. Because they would have had to have the third victor, right? Because they already played one, we killed one, they played another, and so yeah, we obliterated the rest of the deck. They did not have another victor, and so there, there we go. Victor Riven. So yeah, our deck's two and one. Our deck's kind of doing its thing. It's being awesome. Let's... We're going to keep the Hapless Aristocrat as a blocker. We're going to put the counterfeit copies back. Urchin, yeah, we'll keep the urchin. That'll be able to dig for us. I kind of found this deck difficult to play. <laughs> That's what I found. See the world from behind a basilisk. Maokai, yay. It's my time. I'll just skip that because we'll have the caretaker be able to kill that. Let's see if they play something else for me to caretaker. If they also want to pass. I rise a mule. That's gonna be a problem. Because that's elusive. I can't block elusive and it's too big for me to kill. That card's going to be a problem. No, I don't think Snap Binds would help this deck. I can always Fading Memories and copy it. Yuck. The forest. Yuck. Just have a blocker for a turn. Flesh is a weakness we must shed. What do you know of shedding? Everyone's a garden. All right, so my plan: challenge these two once. We can, you know, fading memories, the blighty caretaker next turn. Maybe challenge these again. seems to be the popular keyword granted they said I can be whoever I want you already are and so much more ouch I'm, I'm just not sure if I want to actually play hexcore foundry and give them more cards yet Maybe this foundry just doesn't really fit in this deck. Yeah, it's it's great after Maokai level up, but before Maokai level up, it just helps the opponent more than helps us, I believe. Yes, of course. 
Do it. Victor, quick attack. gonna be close if we can you know if we're gonna be able to mill them out before these um, elusives kill us I, I don't know the culling strike on the Maokai definitely hurts we're gonna need to find another Maokai we're, we're leveling this one up pretty good though 17 Flesh was weak, but look at me now. <laughs> oh got another one All right, Foundry, let's try you out. So I'm gonna need to find a Maokai. So we have two Maokais left in the deck. I don't like this mechanized mimic. Because it doesn't create an exact copy, right? So, like, we wouldn't create, like, a, an elusive mechanized mimic to be able to block this thing. great plan right now they're gonna you know like they're creating these ignitions I think they just got us yeah, pretty sure they just got us hey John but still even with this we're gonna be two and two So that's that's still not bad for our Maokai mill deck. It's just you know big you know super big elusives. I can't really deal with. All right, so we have leveled up Maokai. I need Maokai. Maokai. Okay. We got Maokai. No. You're going to be able to obliterate their deck and make them draw three cards, which wasn't going to kill them. But, you know, that would have been at least close. Two and two. Let's see if we can get three and two. With Maokai Mill, that'd be crazy. Ooh, Draven Ezreal. It's another deck with Elusives and a bunch of Nexus damage. Those are two things we don't like. Elusives and Nexus damage, and they do both of those pretty well. What have y'all thought about this deck? How have y'all liked this deck? Yeah, that, that is our weakness, is Elusives and Nexus damage. So maybe they won't have Ezreal. That's my hope. Alright. Trades are good with 
with uh, Maokai. We only need 24 more now. I don't need to play the Blighted Caretaker like this next turn. We can, we can wait on that. It's possible that I will want to counterfeit copies the Deadbloom Wanderer so that we can draw into more Deadbloom Wanderers and do more tossing. That's not, you know, that's not the worst thing. We haven't run into any Targon's Peak decks today. The next deck that we're about to play is going to be a Targon's Peak deck. make this one that's already an ephemeral copy. We'll make it a little bit cheaper and also an ephemeral copy. And now with nine mana, I can go Wander and Caretaker together. So we need to find Maokai. We need to find Veteran Investigator. Those two. I'm saving counterfeit copies for Veteran Investigator. Ooh, fresh soil. We're doing a lot of passing. Well, if this hits, I guess I should add Callista to attack last, but whatever, they're gonna kill Callista. You know, like they, they have removal spells. Um, but basically, I'm, I'm hoping this hits and I go back up to 20 with these things. Alright, 18. Not bad. And I, I like that they used a cooling strike, because that kills Maokai. So I'm glad that's out of their hand. There's one veteran investigator. I haven't, I didn't look too closely at the other things we were tossing. sense to do this. Give them a chance. Uh, which deck so far is great for Riven? Um, yesterday, the, the best Riven deck we played yesterday would have been the Riven Victor deck we played yesterday. But I think that there's going to be tons of really good spots to, to play Riven. I think there's going to be lots of good options. I think it's a, it's a versatile champion that can kind of go everywhere. So I don't, I don't necessarily think this is the best Riven deck, but this was the best one we played yesterday, and uh, we're gonna be trying out Riven with um, Victor and everything. Or sorry, sorry, Riven with uh, Tarek, and everything soon. That's that's definitely um, a combination that people have been asking for. Okay, there's the second veteran investigator. That's bad. So still haven't seen Maokai yet. We're only at 15 cards left in the deck. We haven't seen a Maokai yet. Hmm. I wish I was discarding Hapless Aristocrat to Urchin and drawing with that. 
Um, I guess I play him. So we, those are the two cards we want. We want Maokai and we want Veteran Investigator. Perfect. Okay, there's Veteran Investigator for the counterfeit copies. Good. Oh, come on. <laughs> Why? Why do you have to end the game so fast? All right, we still got it. We just got to draw Maokai. <laughs> now we're cooking. Please, I have connections. Yeah, I guess that was a bad idea, wasn't it? I need to draw the Maokai first and then do that. That was a bad idea. When Prime calls, a reply is proper. Yeah, that was dumb. That was a very bad idea. Finally. All right, so how's this gonna be? So they're gonna have four cards left. We have two veteran investigators. So that's going to be, uh, that'll be two cards, and then they draw for turn, and then they also draw off hex for foundry. So that's bad. That means that we lose. We're one card short. If I just didn't play, I mean, if I just didn't play the counterfeit copies, yeah, I'm one card short, and then they're then they're attacking me for exact lethal with the Captain Farron. I guess it's a little bit more than that because the spinning axe. Why can't you heal the Nexus? So many times this Maokai card just needs to heal the Nexus. All right, so I'm gonna maybe you know I'm gonna try to be able to like fading memories of the Arachnoid Century if possible. I know I could have I know I could have played a Veteran Investigator previously, but that would just put them to zero cards, so that wouldn't kill them. Yeah, they just go right to attacks. Uh, I cannot be broken. I guess this doesn't completely kill me. Okay, so I messed this up. So I I mean they they could just have a mystic shot of course and kill me. Or any you know, any burn spell. But I guess I, I did need to play the veteran investigator. Time for the money makers. This is a really difficult deck to pilot. One that I'm that I am piloting. Okay, they had that. That was many cards that killed me. So I wonder what it would be like if I didn't cast that counterfeit copies. Could I have milled them out this turn? Like, would I have drawn the Maokai before the glimp? I don't think, no, because I wouldn't have drawn it before the glimpse beyond. But would, would, I, have, would I have had the mana? Because I would have, okay, so if I just didn't cast anything and just passed with the five mana, right? I would I would have banked three spell mana. And we saw the top cards were the the one four, the glimpse beyond, and then Maokai. Like that, that's the that was like the lineup, especially if I didn't play the um, counterfeit copies. So we would have for turn, we would have drawn the one four and the glimpse beyond. And let's see, because then we would have had nine mana. No, I guess that wouldn't have helped because we would have still. We still would have had to... I guess we, we would not have had to cast the 1-4, though. We could have just glimpsed beyond something else. 
and then had that drawn Maokai with, you know, use the spell mana. And then I could have cast Maokai. We're going to have, no, because, yeah, we only had nine mana. So it was still just going to be cast Maokai, play two veteran investigators, and that still wasn't quite enough. We need to be able to play three veteran investigators. We would have had to have ten mana Maokai with triple veteran investigator. So we, we wouldn't have had that. So close, though. So close. Just that, you know, direct nexus damage, that overwhelm, like those, you know, like that Captain Farron just ends the game so fast. And, you know, just getting all those decimates end the game just too fast for us. You know, like we just need to stay alive one additional turn and we would have had them. So that was a, that was a great Captain Farron for them. Um, you know, GG's. And not really even one additional turn, just a couple, like, a, like basically one additional action. <laughs> really, that's all we needed. It was like another action or two. Oh, well, but there we go. That's that's Maokai Mill. Um, very, ha you know, like this deck was still pretty impressive. You know, like it's, this is a good deck. You know, sometimes your your opponents just have like that super big elusive. Sometimes they have that Captain Farron that kills you just fast enough. Um, but uh, you know, it's this is a good deck. And if you play against like more ramp style decks, we saw us win at that matchup. That looked to be a pretty good matchup. The Hexcore Foundry was all right. You know, like that's, just, that's I only had two in here because, it, again, it's not something you necessarily want early, but it does just help your late game with the Maokai, the Foundry, and the uh, Veteran Investigator. But yeah, if you like playing, if you like doing different stuff, you know, if you like to, you know, want to do something completely different from what everybody else is doing, give this deck a, a try. Maokai Mill. It's a fun one. It's not easy to play, but um, pretty rewarding when you get to pull it off and you win by decking your opponent. All right, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, leave all of those comments. Let me know what you think about the deck um, and just other ways to use all of these cards, you know, what, other ways to use Hexcore Foundry, for example, um, in any of these other landmarks or new cards. And, you know, like what kind of decks do you want to see on stream and on YouTube? Leave those comments, let me know. All right, but that's it here for Maokai Mill. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.